Hey guys, so in the previous videos we talked about uh, patellar tendon pain in the knee and in regards to playing basketball. So we talked about muscle flexibility in the quads, how to foam roll it or stretch it out. We talked about strengthening, maybe be in the glutes or even in the quads, depending on the phase that you're in. Now we're going to be talking about the movements and how your mechanics can play a role in having patellar tendon pain. Uh, so we're going to talk about maybe like jumping and landing mechanics, especially if you do it repetitively throughout games. Um, so today Andrew's going to help us out with the movement mechanics. So what, we, what you can do is maybe get analyzed by a physical therapist, a uh, movement expert, just to see how you're moving and how it can play a role into some pain that you're experiencing. So today we're going to do some slight suggestions on how it potentially can help reduce some of that patellar tendon pain and make sure that you're playing basketball with less difficulty and less pain. Okay, so let's say if you're going for a, a rebound and you're jumping, a lot of the times when people get knee uh, patellar tendon pain, they typically jump and land really quick and short. They don't really jump and land into a nice squat position or a hinge position that we talked about earlier. So say for example, Andrew, he jumps and he grabs the rebound, so you face me. Let's go the bad way or what can potentially hurt you. So see how his, his uh, knees go past over his toes. Let's say he does that repetitively throughout a 48 minute game. Go ahead and do that. I can put a lot of stress to the tendon. What we want to do, just like we did in the squat in the previous video, let's have you grab a rebound again, jump. Good. So see how he's landing in the squat position? So a lot of high-level athletes, let's see if you talk about LeBron, or if you lost, uh, watched the, the Last Dance, the new documentary on ESPN about the Bulls, you see Michael Jordan really lands nice and soft into squat positions. Uh, so let's see, for example, if you're landing bad, sometimes let's say Zion, <laughs> he's been having a lot of knee issues and knee pain. Uh, sometimes that can initially actually put you at risk for injury if you do that multiple times. So to help you out, what you can do is uh, go talk to your doctor, go talk to a movement specialist, go talk to a physical therapist to see what's happening in your movements, especially when you're playing basketball, to address all the stuff that we talked about and get you back into the sport that you love.